Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from Garden Equipment Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're looking at the BCS 740 wheeled rotivator. Over the past few days we've been taking a look at these machines. Um, I've actually owned one of these um, uh, going back several years. They're great machines and they're even more better than what they were. Um, and also not a bad price either. Now um, yesterday or the day before we looked at the uh, BCS 738 wheel driven rotivator and today we're looking at the 740 model. The, um, the, there's two models available uh, one with a Honda petrol engine which, which sells for 300, sorry, £3,445 plus VAT and the diesel model that sells for a little bit more at £4,065 plus VAT. So let's go down and look at a few, a few other features so it's a universal two-wheel tractor. Um, most of them are sold with the rotavator on, but you do have the option for many attachments. So let's have a look at some of the attachments available. Don't actually have any photographs, um, but um, here here are a few of them um, which are put down here. So that there's an adjustable ridger. Um, in the cultivation equipment, cultivator kit, power harrow, reversible plough, rotary plough, rotivator, single furrow plough, tine cultivator, stone barrier, which is a very useful machine if you're a uh, landscape. I have actually used a stone barrier and uh, it does what it says, which is great. So uh, very useful tool if you're a landscaper. Um, then in the grass maintenance line of accessories, there's a scarifier, multi mower, sickle bar type mower, flower mower, hay rake and mini baler and rotary mower. Now in the sickle bar type mowers there's two or three different ones with various widths so you really do have a great choice and then there's even more there's um, a buck rake which um, could be useful for sort of clear, clearing up hedge cuttings and things um, or, or if you've got long grass and you want to clear it you can just run that along fleet along the ground and collect your grass. Uh, there's a chipper shredder Dozer blade, power brush, snow blower, snow plow, stump grinder, and trailer. So, a really good selection of um, accessories or implements, whatever you like to call them. So, moving on, there's a petrol or diesel engine option. There's Honda petrol. Honda engines are great, but I have to say I prefer a diesel engine on a rotavator, as you need that low down torque. So, although the, it is a little bit more money. Personally, I'd go for the diesel one, but if you went for the Honda Petrol, it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be that bad. You still have a good engine. And that's just my take, really. Uh, but it's de definitely, I really like the low down torque on the diesel engines for um, rotivating. Uh, there is a two-year commercial warranty or a three-year domestic warranty, which is pretty good. And there's adjustable handlebars. So, as um, put on the photograph down here. You can turn them sort of uh, left to right, up and down. They can swing, spin right round depending what you're doing. So you have full adjustments. You're not uh, running over your freshly cultivated soil, which is or not walking over your cultivated soil, which is great. Um, there's um, a parking brake, differential lock, which is useful as you as you um, engage it your um, PTO you just lock the differential and it helps to keep it moving forward in a straight line and uh, it reduces any slipper, slipping. A uh, differential lock just locks the two wheels together. Um, steering brake, uh, simple depth skid adjustment, um, simply done on a lever. That, um, if you want to go fleet you just uh, pull the lever down and if you want to go deep then you pull it right up so the tines can get into the ground and then you've got uh, hard wearing tines so um, we've sort of been through the basics but I've written a bit more down here and um, please feel free to comment on this you see the tines here but they're pretty tough tines now the machine I had actually had this bit here where, where the power comes in was actually much bigger and it did stop the machine digging but I'm talking quite a long time ago so the BCS have made this much smaller now and so you've got, it gives you a much greater digging ability, which was uh, a job well done, really. It needed changing. So, um, and so, so that, that's a good move. Um, it, it, actually, the gearbox has three forward speeds and three reverse speeds, so there's plenty of variety there. 
and um, yeah so please feel free to leave a comment got a specification here leave a comment in the box here or like our video a YouTube video I'm going to embed it uh, into here somewhere somewhere down here and uh, any comments would be pleased to hear from you thanks very much for watching and have a good day